The scarf is a fantastic cold weather accessory, being both stylish and functional. It's a classic menswear piece with a strong masculine history behind it. 100 years ago, when open cockpits were standard, pilots wore a silk scarf around the neck to keep them warm and to prevent chafing. For thousands of years, militaries have used scarves to differentiate soldiers from what battalion and regiment they belonged to to what specific duties they had in combat. Today, wool, cashmere, and even synthetic material scarves are primarily used for their ability to insulate the neck, keep it warm, while providing freedom of movement. Scarves come in a variety of lengths. Shorter scarves are about 50 to 60 inches long. Standard length scarves are about 70 inches long and extra long scarves are about 82 inches long. Scarf widths are usually about six inches for men. If it's closer to 10 inches, it's most likely a woman's scarf. In today's video, we're gonna look at 10 manly ways to tie a scarf. The first way to wear a scarf is the drape. The drape leans more towards style rather than function, as it's a great way to add a dash of color to your drab overcoat and draw attention to your face. The drape is best for when the weather's cool but not necessarily cold. As the name implies, just drape the scarf over your neck, equal lengths on each side, and you're good to go. The drape works best with short to regular length scarves. The second way to wear a scarf is the once around. The once around provides more warmth around the neck than the drape and so can be worn in colder weather. Start by draping the scarf over your neck, making one end longer than the other. Take the long end and bring it around your neck and you're done. The ends of the scarf can either be equal length or a bit uneven. It's really up to the wearer's preference. The third way to wear a scarf is the overhand. The overhand scarf knot is very simple to tie. It looks clean and functional and provides good protection to the neck in cool weather. To get started, drape the scarf over your neck, making one end longer than the other. Take the long end, cross it over the short end, and then bring it under and through the opening near your neck. Pull on both ends to tighten the knot until you're satisfied with the look. I think the scarf looks great whenever one end is slightly longer than the other. The next scarf knot we're gonna talk about is the reverse drape. This is a great option for colder weather as it provides a lot of protection to the neck. Drape the scarf over your neck, making sure both ends are about of equal length. Now take one end of the scarf and bring it across your neck and over the opposite shoulder. Then do the same with the other side. Adjust it around your neck if necessary and you're done. The next method of tying a scarf is the Parisian knot. A very classy looking scarf knot, it provides great warmth to the neck and is an awesome choice in colder weather. Fold your scarf in half widthwise, then fold it in half again lengthwise. Drape it over your neck and then bring the loose end through the hole formed by the folded end. Tighten the scarf around your neck and you're ready to go. This scarf knot works best with longer scarves. Now a fun method to tie your scarf is the fake knot. The fake knot is a more complicated knot to tie, but it's a great colder weather option that looks sharp with either a casual jacket or a formal overcoat. First, drape the scarf over your neck, making one end longer than the other. Take the long end, bring it behind and around itself to form a loop. Then take the end down and through the loop. Grab the other end of the scarf and bring it down and through the loop as well. Work the knot up to your neck by gently pulling on each end while sliding the knot up. The next scarf tying method is the reverse drape tuck. Not too commonly seen, this scarf knot works best with longer scarves. Drape the scarf first over your neck, making one end longer than the other. Then take the long end and loop it once around your neck. Now take the same end and tuck it through the loop you just formed. Grab the other side and tuck it through the loop as well and adjust if necessary. The eighth method I'm gonna talk about today to wear a scarf is the reverse drape cross. Very similar to the reverse drape tuck, this knot works great for longer scarves. Drape the scarf over your neck and make one end longer than the other. Take the long end and bring it up and around your neck. Now cross the long end over the other end and bring it up and through the opening you just formed. 
pull on the end to tighten if needed, and you're done. The next scarf tying method we're going to discuss is the four in hand. The four in hand is another great option for long scarves. This knot protects the neck very well and is perfect for freezing weather. Because of the many folds, this knot is also one of the more intricate looking scarf knots. Like the Parisian knot, start by folding the scarf in half lengthwise and widthwise and then drape it over your neck. Take one of the loose ends and pull it through the loop formed by the folded end. Now twist the loop, then pull the other end through the loop. Continue to adjust the knot until it's sitting neatly around your neck. The final scarf tying method I'm going to discuss today is the twice around. The twice around is a great choice for freezing weather. Next to the four in hand, it's one of the warmest methods out there to wear a scarf but it's very simple to tie. Again, it works best if you're using a longer scarf. Start off by draping the scarf over your neck. Make one end much longer than the other. Now take the long end and wrap it around your neck. Then repeat again and bring it around your neck a second time. Adjust if needed to completely cover your neck and you're all set for whatever the winter weather has in store for you. That's it gentlemen, 10 masculine ways to tie a scarf that will keep your neck warm when the weather outside turns cold. Now be sure to check out the support article and infographic at realmenrealstyle.com for additional details on the 10 ways to tie a scarf.